Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is answer the question, can vinegar clean and upgrade the value of your copper wire? Being a teacher, I had to do the experiment and find out myself. However, before I start, I do want to make a huge shout out to Miss Corpan's grade six class at St. Philip's School in Petrolia, Ontario. Uh, we've recently finished a food drive uh, for the food bank and due to COVID this year, we were unable to bring in non-perishable items. We had to resort to uh, making online um, money uh, donations and seeing the need, the students proposed to me a challenge if they could raise an additional hundred dollars if I would dress up as the school mascot, which is a Viking. I graciously accepted and they, with their generosity, completely uh, went above and beyond and were able to raise an additional $212, which will go to the food bank and to put some food and some happiness in some well-deserved people's uh, homes. So congratulations, Miss Corpan's grade six class on your work. And I will show you, there is me dressed as a Viking and I also had to wear this not only all day, but also at bus dismissal. I was very pleased to do that. Very proud of you guys, uh, your generosity and effort. So again, way to go. Um, for this experiment, I had seen a lot of different um, opinions. I've seen some people say that it does clean the copper, but after a couple days it will tarnish. Uh, some people have said that it becomes bare bright. Um, and again, what I've done is I wanted to find out for myself. So what I have here is this is just 5% uh, vinegar. It's stuff you can buy at the grocery store. This cost me $1.29 a pound. So it wasn't a lot. Um, but your copper wire at a scrapyard, there are three values. Um, there are three categories. And what I've done is for this video, I've just called and um, the current prices and the prices are for 100 pounds and higher in London, Ontario are going for $4.50 a pound Canadian for bare bright, which is your high, highest copper wire. Under that is your number one copper and it's going for $4.30 a pound. And your number two copper is going for $4.20 a pound. So there is a 30 cent difference from your number two copper and your bare bright. And just to show you the difference, so, Number uh, two copper, there are different uh, reasons why it is considered number two, is if it has some soldering on it, if it is heavily tarnished, as you can see the green coating on there, um, there could be on your wire um, some glue. And the one thing I do want to point out is, first of all, copper pipes this will not, depending on, doesn't matter how clean you get it, it will never be classified as bare bright. Bare bright only pertains to copper wire, and the copper wire has to be bigger than 16 gauge, and if to put that into perspective, 16 gauge is the thickness of the lead of a pencil. Um, so all of this wire here is thicker than 16 gauge, which is great. And also to clarify for some people, uh, when you're looking at your Romex wire and you see 14 gauge, don't be discouraged. 14 gauge is actually thicker than 16 gauge. So the number, if it's lower than 16 gauge, it's actually thicker wire. So again, that's something to remember as well. Okay, so for this experiment, very easy. All I did was I took a handful of number two copper. As you can see, it's very tarnished. Um, there's... Um, um, a lot of discoloration. There's also a stickiness to it. It's almost like there was um, uh, the glue or uh, any of the paper had type of a waxed filament on it. So I was wondering as well if, if the vinegar would um, dissolve that as well. So what I did is I took just a handful of wire. I put it into a bucket, okay? And I poured the vinegar on top of it. Uh, I made sure it was fully submerged in the vinegar. Okay, so this was, I said, was $1.29 a pound. Uh, sorry, $1.29 for the jar. So it's pretty, um, pretty cheap. I have seen some people put 
uh, vinegar and baking, uh, sorry, vinegar and salt into the pot. Uh, I don't think it really matters. I think the vinegar being your acid is the important one. Um, but after a day, the end result was this wire. Okay, so it definitely, if I compare the two, it is definitely cleaner. Okay, so that is definitely one thing I will say for the vinegar. It did clean it and I have left it for a week. So it is still shiny. It has not gone back to any type of green discoloration. However, here is an example of Bear Bright. Okay, so this is more wire that I got. The difference in color, okay, this is Bear Bright. This, even though it is a lot cleaner, this would not be classified as Bear Bright. So I would say with this experiment, yes, it cleaned the wire. However, it did not make it Bear Bright. So it did up it from number two copper at $4.20 to uh, $4.30 because this would now be number one. So that is great that it's 10 cents higher a pound. And given the price of vinegar, I would say it is worth my time because it's very easy. I just set it and forget it. Um, I will slosh around a little bit. And the nice thing as well is I also, this is the poured out vinegar. Okay, notice the blue or greenish color. Nice thing about that is it did take the um, tarnish off. And because I poured this back into the container, I can use it again. It's still vinegar. Um, I could always just add more clean vinegar to it, but I'm definitely gonna use this again. So, you know, I'm not out any money from that um, because it's reusable. Another thing that I want to point out is that after I take out the wire, um, you could rinse the wire off with water, but there are still traces of the vinegar um, and the acidity uh, or the acid on the wire that could further um, um, corrode it or, sorry, not corrode it, um, dissolve it or could um, damage the wire. So what I also suggest and what I've done is after I've rinsed off the vinegar, I actually throw some baking soda on top of it to neutralize any uh, leftover acid and then I will rinse it again with water just to uh, make sure there is no further acid and uh, you know any other type of um, um, issues that could happen once I store this away. So again, to conclude, yes, the wire, it did clean it, absolutely, okay? Uh, you do not have to do that with any types of pipes because as I said, pipes do not count as bare bright, um, but, it will up it going from number two to number one. So you do get 10 cents more for that, okay? But it is not considered bare bright, okay? And lastly, as I said, given the differences, bare bright. Um, the other thing, there is still a little bit of stickiness on there, but um, you know, not much. So I will say the vinegar also was able to dissolve that uh, uh, residue, which was great. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully that answered some questions. Again, uh, had to try that. A big shout out to Miss Corpan's grade six class. You guys are the reason I love to teach and do my job every day uh, and see those happy faces. So much needed time, much needed sense of humor and your generosity uh, definitely came through. So again, guys, please comment down below, like, share, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Tin Man out.